We are here today with our intern Noah. I'm gonna shoot this apple with this gun from his head. <laughs> Noah! Noah! What am I doing here? Don't play the fool with me, Turnus. You killed our intern, Noah. You're heading for the slammer. No, Noah isn't that. It was just BFX. Hey, mister, lies won't save you, okay? We've seen the proof was way too realistic. I swear, it was just practical effects, camera movements and after effects. I have the evidence. Ludicrous. There's no way after effects could produce such results. But that's where you're wrong. However, I first had some preparations to do. To enhance realism, I relied on practical effects. Using skin tone latex from a spare mask, I made a prop simulating a gunshot wound. Of course, I made the piece big enough so I had enough room to work with in post-production. Further, I added texture by filling a tube with silicon, red paint and fake blood. I placed this on the latex skin, allowing me to look through it. And that's it for the prep work. You can't fool me. There's no way that some fake blood and skin creates the footage that I've seen. It still haunts my dreams. I assure you, it's the truth. I'm innocent. I amplified realism with a, with a classic filmmaking trick, motion controlled movements. This will combine my practical effect together with my original shot and really sell the effect. With such a slider, you get the possibility to easily add VFX to moving shots. Of course, if you don't have such a slider, you can work around it with some simple editing tricks. First showing a side shot of the impact and then an extreme close-up made from a tripod. But I will be using a motion control slider for my effect. I needed two identical movements, one of Noah and one of the wound prop. I positioned the fake wound on the same position and height as Noah's forehead. This way the matching in post-production will be a lot easier. I made sure that Noah was standing as still as possible. And because I used an extreme close-up, I could let his head rest on a tripod, eliminating all movement. And as you can see, I also used a blue screen behind Noah. This is all because I decided to walk behind him and look through the wound. Now this isn't mandatory, but it will add a dramatic effect. That's it! I had it with your story. Nothing makes sense anymore. Unless you use Storyblocks, the sponsor of this video. I get that you can find some awesome muzzle flashes and blood spatters to create such a real gunshot effect. Heck, you can find literally everything in their huge library with over a million high quality royalty free stock assets. All in HD and 4K resolution. And you can even use their plugin for both Premiere Pro and After Effects, which will bring their library to your editing program and make your workflow so much faster. But what I don't get is why other stock websites make you pay such an expensive price per clip. Luckily, with Storyblocks, you will get everything for just one set price. You can choose to pay monthly or annually. And did you know that we actually have our own landing page full with videos specially made for you? Most of them are shot in a lock profile. That way you have full control when color grading the footage. You know, I've been using Storyblocks now for so many years that I can truly recommend it to any creative. So take back your creative control with Storyblocks unlimited royalty free stock library and tools today by clicking the first link in your description down below or you can just go straight to storyblogs.com forward slash cinecon but still Noah is missing and we got the footage of you shooting him we got the murder weapon right here and it has fingerprints of you all over the place Damn it, now my fingerprints are on it. Wait, wait, let me show you how I create the effect. First, I imported Noah's clip and placed it on the first video track. Of course, I straight away keyed out the blue. Then I placed the clip of the fake wood just above Noah's and duplicated just below it. I synced all the clips matching the camera movement. Now, because Noah was still moving a little bit and it was noticeable, I decided to track Noah's forehead with the Mocha AE effect. This way, I could use the tracking data and parent the wound to it. However, because the wound is also moving from left to right, it will look quite weird. So again I used the Mocha AE effect but this time to stabilize the wound, making it stick in the center of our frame. If I now place the wound where I want and parent it to the tracking data, it will stay perfectly in place. With a simple feathered mask I single out the fake wound, then to match it with the rest I also color corrected the wound. And voila, there you have it, I shot Noah through the head. Well, that's all I needed. You're under arrest, Tunisa. Say goodbye to freedom. I just finished cleaning the toilet. Can I do something else? <laughs> Noah! No 
Noah, Noah. Oh, that doesn't look good. I hope you have insurance because, ooh, damn. Well, another intern dead. Well, I guess the case is solved then. Now, if you want to learn how to take your gore skills to the next level, we've actually recreated the blood spatter effects from Squid Game. You can learn how to do that in the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.